guys, welcome back to another legit <laughs> CEX closet. Um, so I'm here in the 50p DVD section because uh, only Tories go to the non 50p DVD section. Um, let's see, let's see what we've got here. Okay, um, this fucking owns. This is a fantastic film. Just uh, the way that Cameron Crowe, because um, he, he wrote a whole novel. Uh, for Say Anything, and then turn that into a script, and Say Anything is not a good movie, whereas this is a great movie. Oh, okay, see, I, 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 don't, I don't really know anything about this, but I know that Shyamalan did it, and I've heard oh it's um, uh, interesting. I mean, the, the, the back cover looks interesting, just the forest outside looking really, really strange. Yeah, from Paul Giamatti, just looking. Oh, okay. This is one of my mother's favorite films, so I have to take it, because, um, it's a fantastic film. Ah, this is really underrated as a Mission Impossible movie. Um, this is actually probably the best one uh, because JJ. Yes, yeah, see, Megan, Megan, Megan doesn't agree with me, but the way that this just pretty much does away with most of the deep parts of the plot to just focus on being, like, constantly having stuff happening. Like, every time that there's even a rest period, something, like, shit's gonna get blown up. Taking that. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty fucking directed Mission Impossible 3 and it, it owns, so... Taking that. Um, I'm gonna take my own advice. Because people keep talking about this as being, like, a masterpiece. But I didn't see it when I first, I, I didn't understand that when I first saw it. But then I saw Collateral and loved it, which is also filmed in digital, so I might take that. It's called Phoenix. I picked it up because I thought it was the Petzl film. <laughs> uh, but it, it still looks good, so we're taking that. Um, uh, I've never actually seen Paranormal Activity, um, and it's one of the most like profitable films ever made and I obviously I haven't I haven't seen any of the other ones either. But you know, this is the one that started the all and I haven't seen Blade Witch Project either, so maybe if that's around there I'll I'll take that as well. Um, I'm gonna take the real world of Twilight Destination Forks, um, just because I'm fascinated by what that movie could possibly have to, like that might be a completely meritless movie and I might have actually struck like found you know, gold. Ah, okay. Fucking, like, canon films for me. This this was the first movie that I saw in IMAX, and there's a story from when I went... Oh, shit, sorry, I've just seen me. I'm, I'm not to go all safety, but this is also a... This is also a piece. Um, <laughs> when I... Yeah, when, when, when I went to see this at the BFI IMAX with my dad when I was still living um, in London as a, as a kid, uh, we were climbing up the, the steps, you know, the IMAX is really, really steep, and we got to our row, which is like the middle row, and we were sat in the middle of the middle row. And my dad got to his seat and he turned around and he realised that I wasn't there, he was like, where, where's Tom? And he looked down the row, and there was little me, like five years old, sat on the steps, looking at this screen, which is like the biggest thing I've ever seen, he had to like, rescue me. Um, and uh, yeah, I still just love this movie. This one is, this one has a place in my heart, even though it's not as good, but this is, this is real shit. My bag's gonna break. It, I think it's gonna like it's gonna get too heavy. I'm gonna have to be. Um, uh, the title is covered, but this is Velvet Goldmine, the Todd Haynes film. Um, it's the only film about rock and roll that I can think of that is good. <laughs> like it, it's basically it's basically all the things that a rock biopic should be. Um, it's not a biopic, but it it does rock biopic better than other ones do because. It, it, it explores the way that um, that rock stars really have a hold over the people who, who watch their, who you know go to their shows and listen to their music. But um, at the same time, it really kind of challenges that because they turn out to be you know complete assholes as well uh, by the end. Um, and doing that balance is just amazing. It's one of it's not even one of Todd Haynes' best movies, and it's still a fucking masterpiece. So Todd Haynes, Bob Goldmine, I'll take that. So, do you want to just like, look in there, that's like my haul. It's not great, it's not a great haul, but you know, I got Mean Time and I got two Spider-Man films and Velvet Goldmine, so that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> criterion, oh fuck, that's no, not Criterion, CEX, out.